Yep, we're back doing this again. <laughs> For like the eighth time. So we're gonna lower his suey down today. We're gonna go speed run. It's five after nine right now, so hopefully we can get this in under two hours because we've done it about a million times. <laughs> yeah, well, with two of us. It's different on like a Miata or something. Yeah, no. You don't have to do all this crap, yeah. but yeah. An hour and 50 minutes, but we've had to retake out a strut like twice. Yeah, because they're stupid. Because the brake lines didn't match up on the front one, and yeah, we had that one in instead, so. And we gotta put the spacers on, so it's taking a little bit longer. Shouldn't take much. What? Yeah, that's the right one. No, it's not. Yeah! Three along here, one on the inside. Oh, right, that's faces yeah. that way. <laughs> Okay, my bad. I was looking at the front. Yeah. How fucking retarded. <laughs> it's been 30 right now, so two and a half hours. And he's just torquing down the last wheel. Not really a speed run, but we screwed up a bunch along the way. Okay, so the clips you guys just saw are almost a week old now. That was last Friday, and today is Thursday now. Um, Pretty much we were just lowering Tyler's car back down. We did like a speed run thing on it, even though it took a little while longer than we wanted. And then that other blue bug guy you guys might have saw was just a guy who was around in Souk. And we kind of got to know him and yeah, cool guy. Anyways, so today, as you can see, I took off the eBay pipe because I didn't realize how racy it sounded. So I've got the cob back on there right now, but we're going to make a, a straight pipe today. So, I'm going to bring the car in here and I can get to working on how I'm going to do this. Judging by this, there's one bend in it and then it comes out on an angle. So that's the plan here, except the thing is this, like, for, th uh, this didn't match up with the, uh, the mid pipe on, like, what's already on there. So this is going to need to be pushed back about six inches further. So the bends gonna need to be somewhere in here. And that's hopefully the plan. So this is where we're at. Just heated this up and we couldn't bend it. So I cut, we took a cut out of it and bent it uh, that way. So now it clears the axles and everything. Now we need to bend it um, like over that way and up a little bit and then that'll be enough to come out. So this flange we just cut down a little bit. Um, We've made two cuts in the pipe now. I'm just gonna need to weld it some. And yeah, welding this up. Done. Yes, I know it's horrible, but I had to get this extra piece of metal in there because it got a bit too hot and went through in a couple places, so I had to cover that up. But other than that, it was fine. It needs to sit, so just have to weld around there. Just got this on, cleaned it up, so now time to sit. Whoa! test fit and then build the hanger. So that's where it's sitting right now. That is hits on the frame, so we need to make another cut a little bit farther down and make it up a little bit more. Cut to uh, make the angle right. So there's three cuts in there now. We got a hanger on there. All that's left now is cutting the end down and we're gonna angle it, like angle cut it so uh, it lines up better and looks better than having it stick out about that much. Okay, so it's all all done. There's lots of clearance on top, so now we just gotta see how it sounds. It's gonna be loud. 
Holy. Got a bit of a bark to it. Sounds good. That's so as you guys heard, it's uh, it's all done. So we're just gonna fix this tip here. Basically, just cut this edge off and just kind of fix fix that little part up a bit with the grinder. And that's it. It's all done. Now let's make it shoot flames. <laughs> 